Well, hello everyone, I have found the grave. Um, I'm being mindful not to do another introduction because I think I've just done one. So I found Siegfried Marcus's grave. Now he's credited as inventing the first ever petrol powered motor car. Um, but his legacy and his history is kind of uh, eroded from history, shall we say. And I'll tell you why. Um, he was born in 1831. He died in 1898. He was born in northern Germany. He's, he comes from Jewish heritage, which is very important to the story. I don't know if you can tell where this is going. Um, his father was very prominent. He was the leader of the local community and very proudly Jewish family. Now, Siegfried was um, immersed in te te technology and inventions and gadgetry and he moved to the Austrian Empire's capital. This is the time frame we're talking of Vienna in 1852. And in 1860, he opened up his own workshop. workshop. And it said in between 1856 and 1898, he registered for 158 patents. <laughs> Prolific. Now, he worked for some of these inventions, by the way, they include landmine for triggers and a whaling knife that the Austrian Hungarian Empire would use for their expedition to the North Pole. So, very various different inventions. He worked for Siemens and he worked for House when they were building their, the first ever long distance telegraph line in Europe. But it's in his own inventions that he would become most famous. Um, inventors around this time were trying to figure out a way to move away from horse-drawn carriage. And the internal combustion engine was floated around as an idea. And as early as the 1860s, Siegfried Marcus was saying that petrol could be the fuel used to ignite this. Now, there are photographs and documents from this period of 1860s that show that he was working on this, but a lot of them got destroyed, which I'll get to again in a second. So he was well revered in his lifetime. He was awarded the Golden Cross of Merit while he was alive by the, the Austrian Empire. And for 40 years, he was taught in schools in Austria and Germany that he was the inventor of the motor car. But in 1938, the Nazis came and they occupied and they next Austria. And they couldn't get over that somebody Jewish could have invented, could have been, could have thought of such a, an idea and such an important invention could be from a Jewish person. So they destroyed his documents and they tried to expel him from history and he had a memorial outside the Vienna Tech Museum, the Vienna Tech University, and that was removed by the Nazis. And it's now there again. I'll put a little picture on. I haven't had a chance to go to it, but I'll put a little picture up for you. Um, it is there again, but let me show you the grave. So I'm having a few problems with audio, so I hope it sounds okay. I'm into the road here at the cemetery. Um, his grave's pretty hidden away, well it's not hidden away at all, but near the solar panels and near the back wall, so somewhat hidden away. Um, so apologies for the audio, it's not great. Um, 1938, German occupation of Austria, um, the memorial was, re was removed. He was removed from the German encyclopedia on direction from the German Minister of Propaganda. He was listed as the inventor of the motor car, like he is on his epitaph on his grave, but the Nazis changed it to being the inventor of the motor car was Daimler and Benz. Um, in 1870, skipping around a bit because I've already done this bit, but I'm worried about the audio, so he had attached a petroleum two stroke engine to a conventional wooden handcart. Uh, the vehicle, vehicle no longer exists. Um, I couldn't see if it was because of the Nazis and no longer exists, but 
documents and photographs do show that in the 1860s he had invented the petrol powered motor car. Um, it's only lucky that in the Vienna Tech Museum, um, a vehicle that he invented in 1888 with petrol powered was in the museum and it was hidden from the Nazis in a cellar um, because they didn't want history to be rewritten. He wasn't buried here, he was buried somewhere else in Vienna, but on the 15th anniversary of his death, his remains were moved and placed here. And this is an honorary tomb for him, and his epitaph again reads that he was the inventor of the motor car, and history does remember him, but maybe not as strongly as if all his documents and workings were synonymous so I hope that's turned out all right. Um, really interesting story uh, grave here in Vienna. Um, I found the story really interesting. You know me, I tend to do a little bit of World War II stuff and I find it quite interesting. I hope the audio has come out all right. Um, I've had real issues with it. So I hope it's been okay. I hope you've enjoyed a couple of videos here in Vienna Central Cemetery. It's a beautiful plot of land if you're ever in Vienna. Um, this is my last video in Vienna. I'm traveling again tomorrow, so I'm going back to Munich and I've got a couple more stories in Munich. So I hope you stick around for those and yeah, enjoy the weather. Peace.